What up? I was gonna do each one of these individually by the day of the week, but it's so much music that's already coming out, like that new Gooch, uh, Nia Lee, and a couple other projects I'm on um, review, so I'm just gonna try to knock these one, two, three, three mixtape uh, reviews out. So, starting off with Trinidad James, uh, No One Is Safe, dropped the, uh, sometime last month, I do believe, you know what I mean? So it's not really new. It got 10 tracks. Um, I'm just get it out the way. The EP that he dropped uh, was a lot better in my opinion. Um, but I'm still glad that he didn't let the Def Jam situation, you know, stop him from um, doing music uh, because you could tell he's passionate about his artistry. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to him. And I see that he got his grill fixed. So definitely shout out Trinidad, man. People made fun of him and this and that. But, you know, he did the right thing. And so I'm proud of that nigga. You know what I mean? Got some money, fixed his shit. So it is what it is. And, you know, you could tell he feeling himself, though, man. Like, that nigga swag is just, pause, is through the roof. You could tell he feeling himself, though. But I still respect the nigga because even with his grill being tarnished, he still was out there doing what he do. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. I Should I do the same thing? Real shit. I'll take 10 bands, 50 stacks, and fix. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. But, Trinidad James, no one is safe. Uh, features you got, I love McConan. OG Mako, uh, Pee Wee Longway, Offset, uh, Scotty ATL, K Major. The first track, uh, Drone in the House. I fuck with that record. B was crazy. I like his flow. He was honest in that record. It had like the little skit from Martin, you know, playing Jerome, so that was dope. I like his lyrics as well. Um, number two, Home, featuring I Love um, McConan. That song was crazy. Basically, stand for hating on me. Um, I love McConan. He did his thing on the hook. It was, you know, whatever. Cool little song. Uh, number three, All of You featuring OG uh, Mako. This track was fucking crazy. Um, what else? It was something else about it. Um, I like Trinidad James' spoken word at the end of the record. I thought that was pretty dope. You could tell he's speaking from the heart and he was speaking real. And that's what I like about Trinidad James. You know what I'm saying? Uh, most of his projects is pretty dope, but he got even doper within his craft like he was telling people in the beginning of his career like you really gotta listen to what i'm saying i'm speaking real shit and if you can't respect real shit you know you ain't real in my eyes i fuck with him on that shit though number uh four definition of a fuck nigga featuring problem and little debbie sorry bro you should have just did that solo like no offense to uh little debbie shout out to her and no offense to problem but i just wouldn't fuck with the record uh, number five, Only in Atlanta featuring Pee Wee Longway Offset. Another record I really wasn't feeling. I uh, didn't like the production. Uh, number six, Talk That Shit, Trinidad. That shit was dope. I love the sample on there, the beat. You know what I mean? His honesty in his lyrics. You know, he definitely was talking that shit. You got to break down what he's saying for all you dumb motherfuckers that don't understand what he was saying. He's speaking from the heart. Something that you niggas act like y'all don't got. Uh, number seven, Shroom Party. You know what I mean? I didn't like it. What the fuck is up with shrooms? That's such an 80s type drug. Like, people still fuck with shrooms. Like, I watch videos on YouTube with people off that shit. That's some shit I couldn't indulge in. I'll smoke a nice blunt, pop a flat, you know what I mean, sip, whatever. But I ain't fuck with no shrooms, though. You know what I'm saying? In my era as a teenager, we had X. Like, we, we fuck with XC. Blue Dolphins all day, straight up. Number eight, T. James Express. Didn't like it. Number nine, Fuck That Stress featuring Scotty ATL. It was a dope song. You know, a smooth beat. I love the flows, the melodic feel of the record, you know what I mean? Both of them spoke from some real shit, you know what I mean? And who really want to deal with stress? Like, fuck stress. I ain't dealing with shit that's going to cause me stress. Like, when I go out in public, you know what I mean? Fucking job interviewers and shit like that, it'd be just weird. I don't want to deal with stress, you know what I'm saying? Let's make my situation a little easier and a little better. It is what it is. Uh, number 10, My Rule featuring K Major. A great mellow song. Uh, it has inspirational lyrics if you take it for what it's worth. But overall, you know what I mean, it was cool, you know, uh, I like 6 out of the 10. Uh, I give it about 5.5 out of 10, to be fair. Production about the same, you know what I mean. Um, it would only been 5 records that I did like, but Scotty ATL on Fuck That Stress definitely came through, and I definitely want to check him out. But overall, it was a cool project, but the EP was way better, you know what I'm saying. I just think Trinidad needs to find his sound, find his niche, and stick with it. You know what I mean? Just be unique and don't try to chase a sound. And I think that he'll thrive, you know, in music. That's just my personal opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, P. 
people keep asking for like my fucking social media, Instagram, Twitter, and all that shit. It's a video on my channel. If you look, it's like a little flippergram that shows all that. So go find it, and then there you go. So you can start asking me. Not trying to be a dick, but anyway, I'm out of here, man. One.